bowl. A good bowl of soup can make any day better. So here are the top 10 best canned soup brands to buy. Because really, how many of us want to go through the trouble of making it from scratch? Enjoy your soup. Wolfgang Puck Tomato Basil Bisque. The Wolfgang Puck. Wolfgang Puck was founded by no one other than Wolfgang Puck, the famous chef who began cooking as a child. He was encouraged by his mother, who was a chef in the Austrian town where he was born, and with her support, he started his formal training at 14. In 1975, Wolfgang moved to Los Angeles, where he was noticed by the Hollywood elite. With his dynamic personality and culinary brilliance, he was able to rise to the top. Try my Rice Krispie squares. They are wasabi infused with the portobello glaze. With such an intense culinary background, it's unsurprising that Wolfgang's soup is just amazing, especially the tomato basil bisque. Unlike what most people might believe, tomato bisque isn't just some regular tomato soup. It's so much heartier. The tomato basil bisque has lumps of organic tomatoes inside of it to make it more filling, and the basil balances the taste out perfectly. If you ever have the chance to try this soup, you should definitely jump at the opportunity. When I was rich, I got Wolfgang Puck fired from Wolfgang Puck. Campbell's Healthy Request All right, we have to get you healthy. While Campbell's definitely isn't a brand you'd think of when trying to get healthier, their Healthy Request line of products might make you reconsider. This line is full of all the good stuff, vegetables grown on trustworthy farms, antibiotic-free chicken, and pasta made from enriched flour, water, and egg. Not only that, but Campbell's offers over 100 gluten-free products and a wide range of vegetarian and vegan soups. Plus, the company plans to make 100% of its packaging recyclable or industrially compostable by 2030. And even the current cans they use contain up to 35% recycled steel. Here you go, honey. That's about all the recycling <laughs> I can handle today. But the company also sells sipping cups that are currently not recyclable. While the company is actively working to increase the sustainability of their sipping cups, it seems like they haven't gotten there quite yet, meaning they've got their work cut out for them. But while these soups are a great source of fiber, and depending on which soup you get, vitamins, there is a down Side, most of Campbell's soups are way too high in sodium. Even their Healthy Request tomato soup contains over 400 milligrams of sodium. And though that's only 18% of your total intake of the day, it definitely adds up. So if you're wary about your sodium intake, a buyer beware. Sweet Jesus, his sodium levels through the roof. Well, yes, chicken noodle soup. Well, yes. A soup in the right direction. Do you like chicken noodle soup? Well, yes, of course you do. Chicken noodle soup is just about as iconic as soup gets. You eat it when you're sick, feeling nostalgic, or just want to warm up on a cold day. There aren't any bad excuses to enjoy a nice bowl of chicken noodle soup. Campbell's chicken noodle soup, Dayquil, and Sprite. Yes. Yes, of course. Much like the Healthy Request line of products by Campbell's, the company has made a well yes line of products that markets itself to more health conscious consumers. Obviously, this line of soup packs more than only one tasty flavor, like the Italian vegetable soup or the cauliflower and roasted potato sipping soup. But their chicken noodle soup is pretty hard to beat. What makes this soup so incredible is its ingredients. It is deemed as a healthier alternative to other soups because of its use of clean ingredients with no artificial flavoring and no added sugars. Despite its health benefits and great promise, the reviews for the chicken noodle soup aren't always the best. Some reviewers claim that the only thing you can taste is the salt, while others say that there is an overpowering flavor of rosemary or sage. In any case, Campbell's Well Yes Chicken Noodle Soup should still be a part of your pantry scene. It's always there to save the day. Or I could just dig the can of Campbell's soup out of the garbage and read the back. Rayo's Italian Wedding Soup I hope you're hungry because I have prepared a hearty Italian wedding soup today. Rayo's was founded all the way back in 1896 by Joshua Anthony Rayo, an Italian immigrant. He started a restaurant in Italian Harlem, and he ran it until his death in 1909. After that, the restaurant changed hands a few times, and eventually they were able to open up a second restaurant in 2006. 
Today, the company sells products in gourmet markets and supermarkets all around. You've probably heard of Rayo's before because they make an absolutely rockin' marinara sauce. But did you know that they make soup, too? I did not know that. And not just any soup, some really tasty ones. An honorable mention would have to be Rayo's Italian Wedding Soup, which is a reference to the flavor produced by the combination or marriage of greens and meat. The Italian Wedding Soup is made of beef meatballs, pork meatballs, spinach, carrots, onions, and pasta resting in chicken broth. Not only is the presentation phenomenal, with Rayo's signature glass jar making it look extra fancy, but the smell is deliciously strong enough to make your mouth water after one simple whiff. Reviewers online have admitted that this particular soup is rather salty, so if you're trying to watch your sodium intake, this one might not be the best match for you. But otherwise, get your soup on and indulge in this perfect marriage of ingredients. His mind is as rich as an Italian wedding soup. Daily Harvest Weekly Soup Box. So what's in the box? For those of you who love the convenience of food being shipped right to your door, the Daily Harvest Weekly Soup Box might be the right choice for you. In case you haven't seen this all over social media yet, we'll break it down for you. Daily Harvest delivers farm-frozen, superfood-based, pre-portioned, no-cook recipes like smoothies, soups, and harvest bowls right to your door. Plus, everything they deliver is plant-based, nutritious, and has minimal ingredients. Their website states that they work with farmers to grow the best produce, harvest it at the right time, and then they freeze it at the height of freshness, giving their food amazing flavor and additional nutrition. On top of that, 98% of the ingredients Daily Harvest uses are organic. Without preservatives, this food won't last a day. Look. The box has arrived, packed in dry ice, so you can just pop the convenient cups in your freezer and defrost them when needed. Customers are absolutely raving about everything this brand has to offer, and that includes the soups. They're simple, convenient, and delicious. Plus, the brand has a lot of options. Some of their best-selling soups include carrot and coconut curry soup and tomato and zucchini minestrone soup, but there are plenty of others to choose from. The only downside is the price. While there are coupons and discounts online, you're still shelling out a minimum of $70 a week for nine cups of soup. But if you have the means, then why not give it a go? Sometimes we like to do stuff that costs a little more. Progresso Southwest-style black bean and vegetable soup. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> go to the store and get me some Progresso. When it comes to soup, we all have our comfort flavor, whether it's tomato, chicken noodle, or even vegetable. There's a bowl of soup for everyone. Progresso has catered to every taste, including the South West palette with its Southwest style black bean and vegetable soup. This hearty and filling soup is loaded with red bell peppers, green bell peppers, corn, tomatoes, and cilantro, along with black beans, all in a thick chicken broth. It's the perfect soup if you're looking to fill up for a big day or simply have a significant appetite. That is, of course, if you're lucky enough to get the right can. Apparently, sometimes when you open a can, the vegetables can be pretty scarce, leaving you with what is basically a regular bowl of black beans sitting in broth. Hang on. Black beans, not pinto beans? Yes. On the bright side, Progresso now offers a reduced sodium version of its Southwest-inspired soup, which makes it one of the best options on this list compared to the other salty soups. In other words, this could become your new go-to canned soup as it is reduced in sodium but full in flavor. An explosion of flavor! Soup good, really good broth. That sounds good. I'll have that. While this isn't technically a canned soup, Zoop definitely deserves a spot on this list. This soup company was started by two spice merchants who would sell seasonings and soup mixes to restaurants. The more business they got, the more they realized that soup was pretty much an afterthought in many restaurants. No soup for you! Being the entrepreneurs they were, they recognized this hole in the market and they were determined to fill it. They believed that soup had the power to bring people together and warm both stomachs and hearts. So the founders sold their original seasoning business and teamed up with a top chef. After two years of creating and evaluating recipes, they were ready to introduce their first soups. The first Zoop restaurant opened its doors in 1998 and took the world by storm. The company has almost 100 locations across 
the U.S. and Canada and delivers its heartwarming soup to millions of customers. As for their good, really good broth, this product came into being when the founders realized there was no broth on grocery shelves that was good enough to drink. Enter their product, Good Really Good Broth. Made without any artificial ingredients, this savory broth is loaded with nutrients and is literally good enough to drink straight from the jar. Couldn't find soup, but I found some dirty dishwater. Ooh, okay, even I am not drinking dishwater. Nona Lim Coconut Lime Chicken Bone Broth Cup. You gonna put the lime and the coconut drinking both up? Okay, okay, so we know this one technically doesn't come in a can either, but in our defense, this container is actually way cooler. A ready-to-go, microwave-friendly sipping cup. Made with coconut cream, lemongrass, and ginger, this Thai-style creamy broth is a meal in and of itself. But this singular product isn't the only thing that this brand has to offer. For the Singapore-born founder, Nona Lim, starting a food company wasn't even something that crossed her mind until after her career as a professional fan. Oh, I am going to feel this tomorrow. On her website, she states that she was always keeping an eye open for natural ways to get a competitive advantage. What she noticed was that her body would only function at peak performance when fueled with whole, clean foods. So she did what anyone would do. She became a certified nutrition consultant to learn more about food and medicine. After that, she worked on creating her own brand. And in 2014, Nona Lim, the brand, was born. The aim of the company is to combine good food with good health. With a wide selection of dishes, Nona Lim offers fresh rice noodles and slow simmered bone broths with healing Asian herbs, just to name a few. Nona Lim has said that all of these dishes are ones that nourish her and remind her of the comfort of home. Well, we could all use a bit of that, especially in these times. Good for you, Nona Lim. Good for you. Pacific Foods. No, Jim, it, they were cans. No, they I were boxes. I know specifically that they were boxes. Once again, these soups are technically in a box, not a can. But hey, it's not our fault that most brands have decided to move on from tin cans. Pacific Foods wanted to do things differently from day one. Their main focus is nourishment. Their tagline is nourish everybody. And they're focused on using simple ingredients and adopting sustainable practices to ensure kinder treatment of people, animals, and the planet. As of 2021, their main goals are to source pure, organic, and quality ingredients, create simple recipes, enrich communities, and follow sustainable practices. Pacific Foods was founded in 1987, and they started small with the packaging of tofu and milk. And I'm asking myself, who decided that everyone here likes tofu in the first place, and what is tofu anyway? But as time went on, they started creating non-dairy products, and people began to notice the brand. Within 10 years, they gone from tofu and milk to broths, creamy and hearty soups, full meals and sides, and so much more. In 2017, Pacific Foods announced that they had signed an agreement to be acquired by the Campbell Soup Company. In the announcement, they said that both companies had similar values and similar origins. On the more technical side of things, joining forces with Campbell will allow for increased capacity, distribution, and marketing strength to achieve the brand's potential and accelerate growth and scale organics. In other words, Pacific Foods is here to stay, and they want to spread their nourishing goodness across the globe. Get with the globe! Amy's. Our founding principles, which are to be organic, to be vegetarian, to make great tasting food. Much like Pacific Foods, Amy's Kitchen was founded in 1987, but their story is a little bit different. It all started when one of the founders, Rachel Berliner, was pregnant and on bed rest. Her husband decided to go out and get some soup for her, but when he discovered there weren't any organic and vegetarian options that tasted good, he decided to make his own. You're making soup out of me! They got some family members to help out, and pretty soon, they had the beginnings of a business underway. Over the years, Amy's Kitchen has grown to be a big name in organic and non-GMO foods. The company has over 120 vegan offerings and makes over 130 gluten-free products, and perhaps the most delicious product they offer is their soup. Amy's organic lightened sodium lentil vegetable is tasty and packed full of fiber from the lentils and vegetables. It contains celery 
celery, onions, carrots, and potatoes, and is free of gluten, soy, and lactose. Plus, the ingredients aren't mushy or soggy like most canned soups, and each can has 50% less sodium than typical soups. It's the perfect soup if you're vegan or simply if you're homesick. If you're looking for something organic and without GMOs, this is definitely a good choice. Organic, got it. Jump into more great videos. Just tap or click. First time here? Then leave us a comment, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.